Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back to College Vine's weekly Q&A. If this is your first time joining us, I'm Katie, and every week I spend some time answering questions that our audience has submitted via YouTube and our website in order to get a better understanding of a wide variety of admissions topics. If you'd like to submit a question for us to answer, leave your question in the comments below this video. And remember to subscribe to the College Vine YouTube channel so you're one of the first people that see when we post our latest video of helpful admission tips. For our first question today, we have Joanna, who wrote in asking us about good extracurriculars related to business. Great question, Joanna. We always love it when we hear from students who have a goal for the future and want to kind of work backwards to map out their path to get there. So if you're interested in studying business in college or working in business after college, there are some great extracurriculars to get you started while you're still in high school. First of all, you should know that top U.S. undergraduate business programs are highly selective. You'll need strong grades and high test scores to gain admission, but even those metrics alone won't necessarily land you a seat in your top choice business program. To impress the admissions committee of these highly selective business programs, you'll also need to demonstrate business relevant personal qualities. Those qualities might include your leadership skills, your ability to commit to and complete difficult projects or tasks, and dedication to your community. But how can you showcase those qualities on a college application? Well, extracurricular involvement is an excellent way to highlight personal qualities and your interest in certain career paths, such as business. So if you're interested in studying business, you'll want to choose extracurriculars that demonstrate some related skills in economics, data analysis, leadership, or other things that do appear in the business world. For starters, here are some clubs that can showcase these skills and qualities particularly well. Business Professionals of America, an economics club at your high school, an entrepreneurship club at your high school, future investors club, investment club, working at the school store, a stock market club or a Wall Street investment club, women in business, a young entrepreneurs club, and other things that are related directly to business. In addition, there are lots of great competitions and business focused honor societies that might be a great choice for you to add to your extracurricular portfolio. Here are a few of our favorites. The National Economics Challenge, which is hosted by the Council for Economic Education, is an annual competition with rounds that cover microeconomics, macroeconomics, international and current events, and critical thinking. Awards for this competition include cash prizes, trophies, and medals. The National Business Honor Society, an official division of the National Business Education Association, is open to any high school junior or senior who has completed or is enrolled in their third business course and has a 3.0 overall and a 3.5 business course GPA. Joining can highlight your interest, commitment, and the depth of your business coursework and knowledge. DECA, which was formerly known as the Distributive Education Clubs of America, is a nonprofit whose mission is to prepare, quote, emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management in high schools and colleges around the globe, end quote. With over 200,000 members, DECA hosts annual leadership summits, competitive events, and educational conferences. And it's a great choice to look into if you're interested in business. Another is Future Business Leaders of America, or FBLA, the largest student business career organization in the world. It offers leadership development programs, academic competitions, and community service opportunities. Its national awards program hosts competitive events in a really broad range of business and specific career-related areas at both the state and national levels. We'll put the links to these events and organizations in the comments section below this video if you'd like to check them out. Thank you, Joanna, for sending in your question, and hopefully some of these clubs and competitions help you along your path to a business career. Our second question today is from someone with the username Nitwitty, who asked us, how do I demonstrate my interest in math to a top college? Do I do things like take challenge courses, summer programs, research, Olympiads? Overall, what does the average accepted math spiked application to the Ivy League look like? Well, to be honest, this question is a little tricky to answer in a really direct way, because really every single application has its own specific and unique set of strengths, and even math specialized applications do very broadly from one to the next. Still, at College Vine, we do know a lot about how to highlight specific strengths and draw positive attention to specialized applications. So let's look a little more closely at what a math specialized application often looks like at top selective colleges. First of all, the most straightforward way to highlight skills in math is through achievement in the classroom and on standardized tests. Pretty much all highly specialized math applications will have perfect or near perfect GPAs in math classes and will show a course track that includes the most challenging math classes available at your school, often AP calculus or equivalents. This is important because it means that if your school does not offer AP or IB classes, 
you won't be penalized for not taking them. On the other hand, if your school does offer those choices, you need to make sure that you do take advantage of the most challenging courses in math and do well in them while in high school. In addition, you need to receive extremely high scores on the math section of the SAT or the ACT, and ideally also on the Math 2 SAT subject test. Standardized tests are a pretty simple way to showcase your skills and experience in the subject area of mathematics, so achieving on them is one of the best ways to demonstrate your mathematics ability. Still, however, as you probably know from watching our videos, simply achieving good grades and test scores won't be enough to get you into an Ivy League or similarly selective college. You'll also need to achieve outside the classroom in math. That means choosing extracurricular activities that further highlight your skills and interests in mathematics. Ideally, you'll participate in at least one or two of these activities, and you'll do enough to gain significant recognition, awards, or leadership positions. To learn more about how colleges weigh extracurricular activities, you might want to check out our blog post on breaking down the four tiers of extracurricular activities. That one is linked in the comments below this video for your convenience. Some math clubs and honor societies that will also boost your application might include a math honor society. For instance, Mu Alpha Theta is an honor society for high school students and two-year college students in the United States and 23 other countries worldwide. It aims to recognize the achievements of students who excel in mathematics, as well as inspire a broader global interest in the subject. Students must have completed at least two years of college preparatory mathematics, such as algebra and geometry, and have at least a 3.0 GPA in math courses to join their high school chapter of this honor society. The society offers national scholarships and awards to its highest achieving student members, and those recognitions are highly attractive to selective admissions committees at top schools. Another option is Math Olympiad. It's a two-day competition. The United States of America Mathematical Olympiad provides the opportunity for 250 high school students to test their knowledge of math problems in a contest based on qualifying exam scores. The top 12 scorers are invited to participate in the Mathematical Association of America's Olympiad Summer Program. The top six performers in this round go on to represent the United States at the International Mathematical Olympiad, making this a truly exceptional global achievement. Another option is Math League. Math League is a competition for students in elementary school, middle school, and high school. At the high school level, students may participate individually or as a team at one of the six annual competitions. The contest involves a set of six questions, and students must solve as many of those six questions as possible in 30 minutes. Being a Math League national champion is among the math accomplishments that are most highly regarded in top selective college admissions. Another extracurricular option is Destination Imagination. In this competition, teams of students are presented with challenges that they need to solve. Students typically rehearse their solutions for two to four months until the local tournaments. The challenges touch on areas including technical, scientific, service learning, fine arts, and others. For example, an engineering challenge might involve building a bridge from specific materials, testing the load that the bridge can bear, and then telling the story behind the development of the bridge. Teams participate at the local, regional, affiliate, and global levels. The higher your level of participation and achievement, of course, the more impressive that your accomplishments become. So we hope that this gives you a few ideas for what a successful specialized math application will look like for the most selected schools out there. For links to the organizations that I mentioned previously, you can also check out the comment section of this video to find those helpful links. And now our final question today comes from Aramid, who wonders what GPA does a student need to get a full academic scholarship to college? Obviously something that's attractive to many students. Well, there is no universal answer to this question since the academic requirements at colleges vary so wildly from one to the next. Still, to give you an idea of the requirements for various Fulbright scholarships, we'll list a few of these requirements below. First of all, though, it is important to know that not all colleges actually offer Fulbright scholarships, and those that do offer these scholarships tend to be highly competitive. It's been said that Ivy League schools like Yale or Harvard could fill their entire incoming class with students who achieve a perfect GPA or a perfect SAT score. That means that the decision regarding who gets full scholarships is usually based on a lot more than just GPA or test scores. Rather, most scholarships have a minimum required GPA, but then select recipients based on other factors of academic achievement, as well as community engagement or other specialized achievements. So what I'm saying is usually GPA is only one factor of many that is considered in awarding full ride scholarships. Also, as we review the scholarships that I'm about to talk about, keep in mind the difference between full ride scholarships, meaning that all costs of attendance are covered, including housing, meals, transportation, books, and full tuition scholarships, 
The latter means that they cover everything but your cost of living, which can still be somewhat significant to move to college. So here are the requirements for full ride scholarships at five different colleges around the United States. At Michigan State University, the Alumni Distinguished Scholarship includes tuition, fees, room, and board, plus an annual $1,000 stipend. This scholarship is awarded to incoming freshmen based on GPA, class rank, standardized test scores, or similar criteria. At Washington University in St. Louis, the Annika Rodriguez Scholars Program is a full-ride scholarship that recognizes students of exceptional merit with noteworthy academic and leadership achievements, talk about extracurriculars, and a penchant for community service. Through this scholarship, students gain access to a special pre-university orientation, meetings with university and community leaders, academic support and advising, the Rodriguez First Year Seminar, and other special events. Students applying to the University of Southern California are eligible for the Trustee Scholarship, which is a full tuition scholarship based on academic excellence, leadership, service, and talent. About 100 of these scholarships are awarded each year to incoming freshmen at USC. Applicants are also considered for the Stamps Scholarship, a full tuition scholarship plus access to a $20,000 enrichment fund over four years, which covers study abroad, unpaid internships, summer research, or other enrichment opportunities. In addition to academic criteria, each candidate's talent, perseverance, innovation, involvement, and leadership is considered during the scholarship application process. At Clemson University, the National Scholars Program offers a four-year merit-based scholarship that covers tuition and fees and gives a semesterly allowance for room, board, and supplies, things like books. Scholars are selected based on depth and breadth of their interests, experiences, extracurricular activities, and leadership roles alongside strong standardized test scores, exceptional grades, and thorough and thought-provoking college admissions essays. Finally, Boston College offers the Gabelli Presidential Scholars Program, which provides full tuition scholarships to 15 incoming freshmen who have applied in the early action round of admissions. There is no minimum GPA or SAT score requirement. However, the committee is looking for students with outstanding academic records who hold leadership roles in their school and who are committed to and have a demonstrated interest in community service. These selected scholars also gain the opportunity to participate in a GPSP sponsored summer program for full enrichment at college. For a complete list of 50 full ride scholarships, see the College Mind blog post linked in the comments below. That post is 50 colleges with full ride scholarships true to its content. Thank you to those who submitted questions for this week and hopefully we've provided some helpful advice about business, math, and full ride scholarships. If you have a question that you want answered next week, remember to submit that question for us in the comments below this video. Plus, remember that if you're looking for free guidance on your college admissions essays, your broader application, and much more, visit app.collegevine.com and sign up for a free account. See you soon for our next Q&A.